Since the flooding hit, we've traveled to Greenbrier County and White Sulphur Springs, and tonight for the first time we can show you the cleanup in Rennell, West Virginia, and that's where WSLS 10's Christina Craig continues our coverage. Now, Christina, just a few days ago, Rennell was underwater, and I understand you've been talking to a lot of people out there who are still sorting through what's salvageable. Yes, John, I've spoke to a lot of people out here, and many families and businesses tell us that they're bringing out their water-soaked items, furniture, out to the curb. And for many families, that means starting over. The looming rain in Raynell, West Virginia, has neighbors on edge. I mean, there's no threat, but I just don't know, and that's... That's the sad thing I've had. Thursday night, Diane Milam's home was in three feet of water. Now everything is waterlogged. Family and her six-year-old granddaughter work to recover what they can. I'm helping her clean the house and I hope um, what needs to be helped with. Things like that, deeds to her home, <laughs> you know, things that's going to be hard to replace. Milam tells us she's raised two generations in her home. She plans to restore the house, but with no power. Cleaning up is a slow process. We did get water back this morning. That's why it made it difficult in the very beginning, because you had all the thick mud that you try to get out before it you know, starts drying. The carpet has been gutted, and the hardwood floors are bowing. For Milam and her family, it's taking one step at a time to put her home back together again. Clean up and start over. Make more memories. Right now, West Virginia State Police are assisting in cleanup efforts, and there's also other agencies providing help as well, such as clean drinking water, food, and other resources. That is located at the Kroger's Plaza. Reporting live in Raynell, I'm Christina Craig, WSLS 10.